session we are going to uh, speak on five element the first one is passion the second one is uh, self compassion nothing but empathy the third one is feedback the fourth one is form performance the fifth one is uh, mental well being of entrepreneur so before going to the uh, this uh, inter uh, interview I, i want to understand your past work experience and education because in this linkedin profile you mention only one that is business develop bd be some experience no perhaps you missed to check out the complete linkedin profile uh, okay. before starting this uh, venture way back in 2007 i was part of one of the city group funded bpo called ets services and i was perhaps the youngest cto uh, who joined with the experience of just 5 years highly technical guy before that i was part of computer sciences corporation for 2 years and then before that i was the regional manager implementation for wipro north despite being a regional manager only for the north but uh, since i was highly technical person so i was taking care of all level 3 challenges uh, iso 9001 uh, implementation bs 7799 and uh, <clears throat> different uh, say security frameworks plus uh, iso processes uh, guidelines and providing the support with uh, level 3 resources of ims infrastructure management services to wipro infotech resources and a small one year stint has been there with the computers uh, cmc computer uh, which is now part of the tcs by education i am a btech electrical from knit sultanpur and um, uh, mba finance with international marketing with uh, uh, from nasi munji and a uh, lot of technical certification like mcsc mcsd oracle uh, 9 uh, oracle 10g sans uh, dba sans solaris admin lotus domino admin lot of things and on so, the hobby front a hobby i will come later yeah. so since 2000 2007 you worked as an employee for other yes. organization yes. so you started your journey as a employer after 2007 yes so why, yes. why did you why did you decide that yes i need to form my own company see uh, let me be honest in blood certain things are destined certain people are meant for not just doing the job for others they are meant for doing or creating jobs for others and that is uh, is not just the passion or just not uh, you know your aspiration it is something which is a dna in persons uh, say part of the person's life so it is inculcated from the birth itself the similar sort of thing was there i mean today when i left the job i had a thing in mind like i can do this much for this organization for which i was working i was able to create a lot of uh, value to the organization saved a lot of money and i thought why can't i do it for myself maybe that was the thought process which actually uh, inculcated this kira jise bolte hain which for entrepreneurship but today if i see so i feel that was not just the reason it was something which was in the blood itself despite none of my family members my parents they don't come from the say uh, background of uh, business they are all in job first so you are the first generation yes i am the first generation entrepreneur and despite uh, i mean uh, post this 2007 first enterprise which is it cons they had been different uh, new ventures which i entered into and we also created some marks there so it was fmcg which was ayurvedic which was uh, a school chain this is uh, some kind of a charitable work in my trust a lot of things which are happening once okay you want to decided to become an entrepreneur so you started uh, this uh, it cons can i say it as it cons it is called it cons so i uh, okay it con so uh, is there any connection between your past experience and this business it uh, it con <clears throat> see uh, as i was a cto and i was the manager regional manager implementation in wipro the hiring was the part and parcel 
morning, my day used to start with 15, 16 interviews, hiring a lot of people, uh, on-site engineers to high-level technical people to managerial level people. Evening, the day used to end with interviews. So interview or HR people management was part and parcel of the job. So yes, that experience, how to make yourself as a better manager. What are your interviewing skills? How to judge the person on not only the communication or technical or you know business or functional skills, but just just the person on the HR parameters also behavioral science, which is difficult. So those experience definitely helped a lot in terms of doing the business in a domain which you are into, which is nothing but staffing and recruiting. So does it hundred percent match with your past experience? It matches, yes, but okay. earlier it was more technical as well. Now I'm more as a technological person, not hands on technical only. So what is the main core service of your uh, private limited core service? So the now we are a listed company and we are a limited listed company. We are on the BSC uh, SME exchange. We the primary core business is staffing and recruiting. Payrolling. So it, it does it come from a consultancy service? Yes, it's kind of a consultancy services and management services. So right now, how many employees are there? Currently, we are touching around 1600 plus people, but okay. now we are growing leaps and bounds horizontally and vertically. We are in process of acquiring few organizations bigger than multi times bigger than us into the similar sort of the domain and mm -hmm. The vertical growth will come through this acquisitions part and the horizontal growth is happening. How we are recruiting people on daily, weekly and monthly basis and yearly basis. Earlier we had been purely into IT staffing and recruiting. Now we are into general staffing also. These numbers which we are currently onto this by end of this financial year 2023 24 we expect to be more than 15,000 people organization with the horizontal growth itself. So now we are moving to passion. So the main thing why you shifted to employee to employer is so you want to build your own organization so you can create more job to people so you can add value to the uh, your uh, what you call it goal. So, so uh, how much important do you give to business and family? How much importance do you? Give to business and family. Business and family. OK, for the first generation entrepreneur, it's the family which comes first because that's kind of the support and the belief in you and. Uh, push to your efforts, because if you recall, during your initial days, you are the CEO, you are the PM, you are the driver, you are everything. That point of time to keep going, that push, that support comes, that money, that seed fund that comes from your family and friends. In my case, it has been an immense support, be it from my father, from my parents, brother, sisters, wife, and even my small young kid. Uh, I mean, uh, rather than only looking forward for father to be coming back at evening six o'clock or nine, doing a nine to six job. Even if I was returning back after two days from the office, uh, he was still not making any complaint. So it has been an immense support. And today that small kid now has become 18 plus years and part of Bits Plani second year. Now he has a passion. What I could do or I could achieve during at the age of around 49. Now he will he is aspiring to do 100 times bigger than that in the age of 19. So in because this is because I took the interviews of a 22 year old. He is doing business in uh, uh, Noida same. So he said that right now he is a first generation entrepreneur. His parents are actually pressurizing to please quit the business, go get some job and get married. So that is how I re remembering he also faced the same problem. Because See, persist, it's, it's required a lot of persistence. Business job is something like 
uh, if you are doing a study job, you are performer, you are, you are matching your KPIs, KRIs, that will go on. But business is not just a straight line curve, a straight line, a straight line. It's a sinusoidal curve. Sometimes you get with with a minimal or mis minuscule efforts, you get a lot of new business, you get a lot of new uh, requirements, a lot of funds start flowing. You do not have any challenges of the cash flows. Uh, you are getting the payments on time. Sometimes everything gets stuck up and then you think, where are you stuck? Where, where are you actually stuck? And that point of time, your passion, which is nothing but continuous persistence in terms of, you know, having a faith, ki problem aya hai, uska solution bhi hoga. If you do not have that kind of a attitude, you will not be able to justify with the business. You will not be able to flow, keep flowing. And destiny is definitely one of the part, important part. And as an entrepreneur, definitely you feel it more because you work for yourself. At that time when you're doing a job, you're working for someone else. That point of time, it's his destiny also which works and you become only a part of it. But when you start off your own as a first generation entrepreneur till that time, it's not the public money. It's your destiny also plays an important role. So you said that you didn't get much support from your family. No, Matlab, they also they are they were not happy with your decision. No, no, they were happy. They supported me. That's what I said. But you told that your child was so disappointed because you didn't. Uh, no, no, he didn't... was he was not making any complaint. I said so. I think you perceived it wrong. He did okay. not make any complaint. The, okay. he, even if he was seeing me after two days or three days or five days, and today. Though, despite he has seen the hardship which I followed, the path which I followed, he is still aspiring to be a uh, entrepreneur, not going to pick up the job from the campus because uh, despite the median package starts from with 35 lakhs, he is not going to pick up the job from there. He is going to be starting his own venture and will take over from me as a whatever I create for him. Legacy. Legacy. And that yeah. that will be a plus. That will be a plus because that point no. of time he will have more power to take more risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I think uh, during your uh, journey, entrepreneurial journey. So did you uh, think that yes, I need to drop this business. I, I I took the wrong decision. This is not suitable to me. So did you think like this type of uh, See, during the course of the business, after three years down the line, I mean, when I left the job and I came for the business, that point of time, everything was so green, so beautiful, because we start getting the projects from US and it was all flourishing. The problem started two, one and a half year later, when suddenly the projects which we had been doing, uh, they got into litigation. The, I mean, the client got into litigation with some, uh, some other people in US. And that business stopped. That point of time, the challenges came. And that point of time, you start thinking like despite you are putting best of the efforts and you know you're working day and night, still you're not able to make uh, dig out the money which is equivalent to the salaries of the resources. And I had understood during this journey, it's not just the mehnat or the efforts or you know uh, the kind of uh, hard work. It is something beyond this. There came something which is persistence. There came a feeling of spirituality that. Yes, this is the time frame. We need to keep flowing. Things may not be falling in place because they are not destined at this point of time, but keep flowing. You will get a time and where things will settle down and that's what happened. So I never thought that I will quit this. Yes, there were ch challenges. There were, um, you know, issues. Uh, I mean, for any first generation entrepreneur, I mean, established business will they, they keep facing over the time. But yes, there comes the persistence. There comes your uh, uh, maturity to accept the things as they come on the way. Because in today's scenario, even job is not a state curve, a state line. If you are perform, even if you are performing, but your company may not be performing, or maybe they have some kind of a disturbance, and you are on a senior season position. If you are being fired, you it is too difficult to find out a job of that stretcher or you know that level. So that thing I had understood. So I never thought to go back to the job. I kept flowing with the wind. I kept flowing with the current, and 
finally that efforts actually you know came into this form of we could become successful and today we are on bsc sap so do you think that you are in a service industry especially in consultant business do you think the uncertain level in consult uh, consultant business is high compared to other industry any product development tech entrepreneur in terms of getting the funds from the market if you are into a legacy business not doing something which is new or innovation yes the probability and the chances of raising the funds become difficult because most of the vc funds or angel funds or you know investors they 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 have different thought process altogether once the business is established once you are they are seeing your growth path there you don't need vc funds you need pe funds who come at a stage when you are on a growth path you are doing acquisitions you are you know making their money a double triple or four or five times and you know making them the easy, giving them the easy exit path once you are listed and making their money grow four times five times in three years or four years times horizon so yes in the industry the service industry we are into one is the ebitda margin is less the pet are less the industry p factor is low but in comparison to the product or in comparison to the healthcare in comparison to you know any industry which is booming at this point of time which is much in demand semiconductor industries but it is a stable business it is the requirement of the day it is not something like today uh, i mean the competition despite the competition is there but it is not something like one company will not get the business other will only get the business and you will be out of the race but in product business that is what the challenge that is the challenge between level 1 level 2 unless you are only in one and two category you lag behind so, for example you may see in terms of the erps lot of them came but ultimately who are the pioneers it may be sap it may be oracle it may be ban or something like that but most of them other things either they were being acquired or they could not sustain they closed down similarly in terms of the upi business if you see the paytm or maybe bharat pay or whatever others they could not you know take a that kind of a league which these people they took that advantage of being the first runner in consultants consultancy also do you think that there is a chance of failure close up yes they are if you are if your expenses are high you are not able to manage your cash flows if you are not able to you know justify your expenses and uh, if you are in a race to make yourself comparable to the number one you tend to fail you have to see where you are and then make your competition race accordingly decide your competition rate accordingly don't just run what other people have done you do not know the situation they had been into that particular time you do not know what kind of relationship these people they had that point of time when they started growing up you have a different situation if every business i mean learnings may be fine but at the same time situations business the people the attitude the promoter's attitude everything will be different so nothing is comparable only thing is the business you are into the domain there may be 100 another people 200 1000 but everyone can sustain because there is a enough room and there is a enough requirements which are flowing it's a fastest finger first concept whoever will be able to you know fill the vacancy and give the best of the services they will pick up more pie of the business so do you think that in consultancy also there is a fear of failure of course yes any business any business which is not able to maintain the cash flows not able to maintain the ebitda not able to give any value to their clients do not understand the need of the change as per the uh, say uh, time they will tend to uh, they will fall definitely today tomorrow or maybe years after their operations okay. and if you remember there is always business maturity model there is always a peak once you reach to that peak there are different ways either you have to keep growing then do start doing the acquisition otherwise you tend to fall so 
if you want to do something assume you are uh, planning to do something but you are not getting support from anyone external party assume you are in a stage of situation so he he, he was he, he didn't get any financial support from the investors so if you are in that situation you you have a very good idea but you are not getting any support from the external people so do you want to stop the activity or do you want to struggle to get, uh, achieve your dream that is i always say that is the passion i am a live example as a entrepreneurs everyone want quick money they want to sell five of their shares to someone and raise funds maturity is not there how do you utilize those funds it may be a luck by chance story but that part of time the experience which you gain after burning years and years together is different you know the importance of that money the paisa which you get from the investor you understand how you have to make multiple times of it but the problem is the new generation entrepreneurs after seeing the success story couple of the success story where the people they got funded at a seed at the concept stage or as a seed stage and millions of the dollars started flowing everybody thought is the money which is making the business grow they forget there is something which is beyond yes money plays an important power to hire the experienced folks which are gray hair which have the industry experience to run the business much better than yourself because you cannot hire someone seasoned and experienced with the seed fund which you are putting from your pocket unless you are deep rooted or you are born with silver spoon but there is always a way don't run that point of time my suggestion is behave like a kid which on day one even do not know how to crawl once you know how to crawl you start trying to move on to your gutno pe jaise chal ke chalne ke liye chalte hain iske next step is to stand up next stand up is to walk and then the last step comes running running has no limitation running has no boundation on speed what how you have to run that point of time during the journey lot of people will join lot of investors will come into your way once they see the progress any investor any person who has excess money does not want just his money or her money lying in banks at 5% or 6% fd rate of interest and then keep paying 30% tax on it they want multiple time 30% 40% 60% return year on year basis so people are chasing for it but the same times they want to see the progress and they want to see you know how passionate the entrepreneur so don't just lose just because of the money important is keep flowing whatever the pool of the money you have start with small milestones goals rather than comparing yourself with lucky chaps couple of them i may name maybe oyo ritesh maybe some other people paytm uh, vijay shekhar but they are see how many of them are there it is just like one out of million so just don't chase them it will automatically fall onto your way once you start seeing the progress everyone is different everyone's destiny is different so next we are moving to uh, self compassion self compassion means <clears throat> how do you understand yourself in a difficult situation so there are uh, two uh, two thoughts of school on this thing but uh, we are taking the definition from the uh, based on the indian scripture so this compassion thing but how do you understand yourself so do you think that 
सेल्फ कंपेशन है हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड यूर सेल्फ एंड नॉट क्रिटिसाइज सेल्फ नॉट क्रिटिसाइज यूर सेल्फ सेल्फ क्रिटिसिजम दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंडियन इन इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट everything is linked with the success if there is a success story people will wow for it if there is a failure to start ho jata hai wo ghar se bhi maine to pehle hi kaha tha ye nahi ho sakta tha zabardasti itne saal kharab kiye job mein dekho aapke saath ke kitne log kahan chale gaye all those blah 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 nonsenses jab success story create ho jati hai to hame to pehle se pata tha ki ye kuch bada karega that is the mentality and don't care for it <clears throat> if you are becoming successful you are creating the success for yourself for your inner self your happiness your mental level you are creating the wealth for yourself and the investor who had had a faith in you if you are failure you are still much better experienced than others who could not even take a risk just on the pretext ki fail ho gaye to kya hoga अगेन माई सेल्फ एग्जाम्पल आता है आई मीन यू विल कीप गेटिंग दोज काइंड ऑफ नेगेटिंग वाइब्रेशन बट इन इंडियन कॉन्टेक्ट इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एन एंटरप्रन्योर टू बिलीव इन समथिंग विच इज नॉट योर सेल्फ ओनली बट समथिंग विच इज अलमाइटी कुछ चीजों को आपको एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ेगा कि आप कितने एफर्ट डाल लीजिए सब कुछ डाल लीजिए बट कुछ चीजें हैं जो किसी और से कंट्रोल्ड है फॉर एग्जांपल लोगों के महल बनाने वाले जो लोग हैं उनके पास अपने रहने के लिए झोपड़ी नहीं होती डेस्पाइट दे आर डूइंग एफर्ट्स अब यहाँ पे बहुत सारे लोग डिफरेंट कंफ्लिक्ट वाली बात करेंगे कि वो हम लोग माइंड से काम कर रहे हैं वो एफर्ट डाल रहे हैं फिजिकल एफर्ट ये है वो दस इज ऑल क्रैप प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट पे अगर देखा जाए प्रैक्टिकली नो वन वन नो वन विल बी विलिंग इज एक्चुअली वर्किंग टू टेक ए फेल्योर एवरी वन इज लुकिंग ओनली फॉर द सक्सेस बट दे आर हार्टफुल पीपल हैंडफुल पीपल हु गेट सक्सेस एंड रेस्ट बिकम एंड दे बिकम द हिस्ट्री दे बिकम द लिगेसी दे बिकम द पीपल दे स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग एंड रेस्ट नो वन नोज इवन सो आपको यहाँ पे एक चीज क्लियरली समझना है कि आई एम डूइंग इट फॉर माई सेल्फ फॉर माई सेटिस्फेक्शन फॉर क्रिएटिंग द वेल्थ फॉर माई सेल्फ फॉर माई फैमिली एंड फॉर द इन्वेस्टर्स एंड क्रिएटिंग ए लेगेसी फॉर माई फ्यूचर जनरेशन लोग क्या कहेंगे क्या कहते हैं फॉर गेट इट जस्ट थिंक कि मुझे ये करना है यदि मैंने कर लिया तो जिंदगी का जो पर्पज था वॉट एवर the aim which i carried is done so jo self compassion hai is very very important forget what the people are saying kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kehna just think wo song hi nahi hai it's actually the real life people are saying acha hoga to bhi kahenge bura hoga to bhi kahenge forget them okay so self compassion compassion is very very important to motivate ourselves people says that passion motivates entrepreneur but in this study we are going to say they say that the passion that we are going to understand the moderation effect of this self compassion how much compassion he has toward himself so that much benefit he used to get uh, he will get if you don't have self compassion if someone is saying that the business is not suitable to you then he will immediately give up the idea because he is not understanding his own ability okay that is correct so do you think that your mindfulness reduces your painful thoughts your which one mindful mindfulness mindfulness reduces your painful thoughts mindfulness the important part is the keyword is mindfulness but that mindfulness comes with maturity experience and comes with spirituality dhyana believing in god existence of some external power which is driving you to do this it is not just mindfulness will come automatically kahin se bhi khareed lao 10 rupaye ka hai 20 rupaye ka no it is a very important factor which is earned with experiences 
which is earned by reading the good success stories of the people who did it. They have passed stories. Aaj Nokri Sanjeev Bikshanani ki story dekh lete hain. But jo usne job ki jo postings bechi hain, uske baare mein kitne logon ko pata hai. Wo chizhe jab read karna shuru karte hain. Jab wo chizhe samjh maate hain ki how these people they struggled and how they started from zero basis to a one billion dollar empire at this point of time. Asa, can you use only English because? Oh, sure, uh, sure, 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 I'll do. But I think uh, purpose of bringing this uh, Hindi things is in between is to touch the Indian context also because people, uh, they do not uh, uh, relate in English much. They understand much better in Hindi. But yes, I'll, I'll do it in English only. Important is the mindfulness comes with experiences. They come with the uh, say kind of uh, uh, you know emotion controlling your emotions. When you are seeing only the success path, you think you have done it. When it is going downfall, then you think nothing is in my control. And those extreme situations they are always bad for anything. So one has to understand it's business. They are it's a sinusoidal curve. It is not a straight line. If today you are going up, the market can come down and it can make you without any fault of yours to come down. That point of time, how do you sustain? How do you diversify? How will you become, you know, example for others? It's an experience which you gain over time, which is nothing but mindfulness. And this spirituality, dhana. Where you think this was supposed to happen, this is, was bound to happen. It is not my fault. I had been doing best of my effort. I had been running the best practices. If even if it's falling down, I can definitely try using the corrective measures. But at the same time, there is an external force which is not in my control. Till whatever I can create the barrier to stop this uh, say downfall, I'm doing it. And if you're doing this, something else is driving, you have to accept it. And okay. you see the example of Nokia. Uh, people they may say they yeah. they fall into they fall apart because of their mistakes. No. Who would Blackberry? It was the first iPhone, which was the smartphone uh, which used the text messenger. But today, who is using that? Micro uh, forget Microsoft and everything. It's WhatsApp, quick multi-user platform and in fact i was one of the person initially who thought uh, why only blackberry i used to ask my brother why can't we create an application which will help a multi-platform to someone has to kill it and did it long back we could only think so i will come to spirituality at the end yeah. because i have a very uh, tough argument for you because i i you are the 22nd entrepreneur i'm interacting with you so you have a separate opinion compared to all these 21 entrepreneurs. So uh, do you think that uh, over identification, over identification means you are giving too much attention to a problem. So do you think that over identification help you to focus more deeply on your failure and imperfection? No. Why? The more you, more you think over the problems, more you have the chance to not take the right decision and give up. Problems. OK, so you said you will discuss that uh, spirituality part later, but I'm just touching upon one part of it. If I go by Indian context or spirituality or astrology or mythology, mythology, I mean, uh, our mythology, this human life is considered as 120 years. Within 120 years, there'll be Mahadasha of all nine planets which may some uh, Venus may come for 20 years, Rahu may come for 18 years and Ketu may come up to seven years. These things, they may have impact on us for which you don't have a control. Similarly, the moment you start overthinking. This planet is causing me this, this is so you will keep, you know, you will not do any effort, but no. You have to do something which is Balancing their negative impact or malefic, you have to create a shield for yourself so that you are not being impacted physically, mentally or morally or anything and keep progressing. 
the moment you start thinking too much, you tend to have a fear inculcated in you. You think problem becomes much, much, much bigger. Despite the problem, maybe this much only. It may be just take a step forward and everything is clean and green. The moment you over exaggerate and you think too much and think aloud, then it's, even if it's a small problem, you're making the magnitude to look like this. And that point of time, you lose your self confidence. So forget, even let the problem come. They will keep coming. We will keep putting best of the efforts and we'll keep flowing. OK, but for example, assume uh, for example, I'm a musician or oh, no. OK, I'm, I'm reading one article. This is paper assume. It is highly, highly difficult to understand uh, US and UK based research paper. And top A journals in management. It is too difficult to understand the theory, construct and everything. I will I will take nearly one, one to two weeks to understand one article, single article. When I when I read the article first time, I feel very really disappointed. I don't, I'm not able to understand even a single words also. But how I will think that OK, Raghu, this is not so easy for you because a well established author is writing something. It is not easy for me to understand because I'm a beginner. So I will give, I will go in deep and I will read it multiple times, 10 to 15 times, one paragraph. In a whole day, I will, day, I will read only one paragraph, then I will understand, then, then I will go to second paragraph. So this is I'm giving more, more important and deep reading to my research paper. Some people they don't do that much of important. They will simply read it by one day. One day they used to read 15 papers. This is how my supervisor said that read 15 papers for one day. So I told him to so I don't want to uh, give, I don't want to read that much of paper that is highly impossible. I will read at least half a paper in a day because I need to understand perfection. Because perfection is important to me. I don't want to uh, get unperfection. For this, I went to deeper and deeper to that paper. Then I understood. Just allow me. Someone is calling. It's something I think important. Can I just take this? I'm on a I'm on a meeting. If not something urgent, we'll talk later. No. No, if not urgent, no. Ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah, go ahead, please. So in that situation, if I am not giving too much attention to that paper, why I am not able to understand? I need to read multiple times. It motivating me to read multiple times. Read. No one is stopping, but don't. Think everything just like whatever a situation or whatever has happened to that guy will also happen to you. I said every person is different. Destiny is different. Your effort is different. Business is different. Situation is different. Time is different. You may not even face that problem, whatever the person has faced. The time frame might be very, very different. Even two people born at the same time. They have different faith. They have different bhagya altogether. So why are you too much worried about like this thing has happened? This will not make you perfect. I'm sorry. Someone may really oppose it. Learning from the other failures is good, but learn, over learning from other failures, thinking that if I do this, this problem will come. You cannot become an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is a person who has, you know, heart to face any problem because that is a part and parcel of the life. Who knows to, today? Simple, simply consider. We are talking now. Who knows I have a heart attack and next moment I'm not there. So why do keep worrying myself? Boss, next day I may not be aware of. So I have to keep myself, you know, away from this, that, that, the blah, bloody all nonsense. Whatever is supposed to happen has to happen. Keep flowing with you. Have patience, have faith in you, have faith in God. They will make the things fall in place. Over exaggerating and overrating the problems is never a solution and should not be, you know, uh, is um, reading in the books and creating a, you know, success after success story is being created, saying I did this analysis of the problem I did. If you start doing this, it's simple like that. If you, when you go to the bank and open the account, if you read the blueprints, which are small in words, you will never be able to open the bank account. So much of uh, say fine prints, small fine prints is the same thing. 
the moment you start reading all those problems and you start finding out the solutions and you think like once the, everything i put into the piece of the paper only way i will start the business or i will you know move forward the life will be completely gone someone else will take the advantage and will move forward okay so the next section is about feedback so how much important do you give to feedback in your business that is feedback at any point of time, be it business or job or home or uh, your workplace. Anything is important that gives you a room to improve yourself. And keep yourself open. Keep yourself open to the advices. But but there is a fine line out here. Take what you have to take, what you have to accept. Don't just believe ki what the other person is saying. I have to follow that. Again, people will keep saying logo ka kaam hai kena, but do not get into that part. You come to a term, you forget yourself. You forget to tend your decision based on the feedback received from the others. Whatever you think is good, because that is something your, you also have a mind. But God has gifted you this mind, beautiful mind. Use that. Think what is, is acceptable. Accept it. Move forward. Not everything is to be taken. Not everything is to be rejected. Certain things, grasp them. Certain things, let them go away. How do you decide? How do you decide that? OK, this feedback is good to my business. This feedback is not good to my business. There are two things. One is technical advice. Second one is behavioral advice, which is technically, if you are sound enough, you can differentiate. And something which is, uh, you know, scientifically proven, accepted. Something which is beyond scientific reasons, like one plus one is equal to two, which is clearly visible. Go for it. Something which is not one plus one, but it still it is becoming eleven. There, your inner conscious comes in place. There, your mind, your heart, that acceptance level, that will decide the course of the life. It is not always one plus one is equal to two. It is one plus one can also be eleven, and so, that is something you have to take a conscious decision. Do you think that self compassion is play a very important role to feed uh, in the feedback analysis? For example, most of the sports literature they found that sports people are too obsessive toward this game, like football player and hockey player. But whenever they get the feedback from their uh, coach. So they feel that uh, their game is improving. And uh, do you think that self-compassion actually helps to feedback analysis and implementation? That is true. But one thing again. Take an example. When we give the care to any of the team members as an entrepreneur, despite or maybe we are in the job, we get the care. Some care, care are measurable. Some care are based on the behavioral aspect. Maybe depending upon the job profile, that care is being given. Importance, whether it is 60% or 80% to say miserable one, someone 40% uh, or 30% to maybe uh, something like which are behavioral aspect in nature. It is the similar sort of situation out here based on the job. So corrections, um, uh, timely feedback, uh, your inner self-conscious, everything is important. But there is again something which is beyond your control also. Otherwise, as I said, no one want a failure. Someday, maybe your biggest cricketer in India at this point of time, or maybe Sachin Tendulkar, maybe getting out on just first ball. Someday, maybe in 60 balls, century. He is not. He, he had been absorbing everything which is coming as a feedback. But that day, circumstances, that the situation may not be favorable. So there is something always continuous process. There comes the belief. So what made you to take feedback? Feedback? Anyways, I mean, see, for example, if I give my example, I always say I don't want to get myself surrounded by people who are always saying boss is always right. What this nonsense? Boss is always right is always fine. Everyone knows this part. But what I do not know about myself, which is the self blind window, Johari window concept, you know, self blind. What I do not know about myself is important for me to know. 
don't just give me a reason boss you are too good that is everyone will say to increase the numbers but that does not help me becoming a good person i am willing to have the feedback i give more importance to the person who can come in front of me tell me what are my shortcomings accepting that may or may not be required because that is what whatever he or she is telling as per his perception perception keep varying from person to person they may be different i may be different for one person i may be different for another person i may be good for my parents i may not be good for my wife so wife may be good for the kid wife may not be good for her husband it's simple as that but getting the feedback is good if someone is giving if someone is actually or you know some uh, want to give you a two feedback they will not have fear they will give you a feedback and take that feedback you think because the mind is also there with you take a constant decision and move forward so as we were taking a feedback you were approaching some person to uh, can you please give me a feedback on this uh, my uh, business and he is giving a more negative feedback so how do you handle that situation when the person is giving too much negative feedback to you now important is from whom you are taking the feedback assume, the person, assume he is a very well established businessman again is he coming from the same line of the business i am into is he facing the similar sort of the situation which i started with was he into the similar sort of the situation or the time frame was the similar sort of thing so getting the feedback getting the business plan weighted by industry veterans taking the feedback whether it is business will actually uh, you know a flourish or not which kind of the challenges grasp all that make a note of it see what tweaking you can do into that business there is always a way around we indian work on way arounds and that is our you know genetic quality which is good something it is not something like everything will in this business will be bad if you are not doing it are you the first person who is actually doing that for the first time no someone around the world would be doing it he is making himself he has created a success story or he is a successful person how differently he or she did it maybe the similar sort of situations or may may circumstances may not be in india is the india may not be the right place is the other country may be the right place so something don't just go by words some kind of tweaking some kind of adaptability some kind of synchronization as per the atmosphere and the circumstances is important so do you think that your self confidence disturbing you to not accept feedback there is again thin line between self confidence and over confidence self confidence never allows anyone not to take a feedback over confidence does so one has to understand the fine line or thin line difference and then act accordingly so right now uh, okay how much time it took you to uh, to uh, get the positive financial flow for your business after the you started in the 2007 so how much time you took to stand up 2013 the journey of six year 2007 to 2013 okay has been a camel ride hmm usually how much time it take for an entrepreneur to stand up in the market there's no such parameters no such parameters as i said money your passion your relationship your destiny your luck lot of things they work some may be 18 years old only they are getting billions of the dollar funding just by the concept they have a good relationship they got connected to the right person at the right time they got uh, certain mentors they got certain industry experts someone they may not so there is no such parameters there is no such timelines but there is always one saying try and try again and keep trying success will embrace you and that's actually the same thing which i started there may be nine planets mahadasha one may be 20 years one may be 7 years 7 years may not be favorable 
But once that seven year is over, there is a favorable Mahadasha of Venus, which also comes, which is favorable. So one has to actually keep trying, keep innovating, keep finding out ways to sustain and then keep growing. Someone may grow in three years time, become a billion dollar company, unicorn. Someone all the life may not become unicorn. So that is something which is destined also. So whenever you're feeling disappointed, whenever you're getting negative feedback, so how do you convince yourself on that situation? So negative feedback about what? About me or business? Business. 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 OK. So negative feedback about the business. I mean, over the years, whether this will be a sustainable business or not, those things, they keep coming from the industry experts. We also went to certain VC funds, um, you know, uh, even uh, uh, seed funds or um, and uh, initially, and we had been rejected. And today there is a situation when someone want to acquire us last year. I said, no, I'll rather go to the uh, SME exchange. I'll become public, will grow. And maybe years down the line, once you give me a valuation which is matching to my expectations now, then so we'll you, see. You ready to uh, sell your baby on that time? One has to understand there is uh, uh, there are two choices. N they, they, one has to understand the bell curve pretty well. Since I'm a uh, say MBA grade as well, so I understand. There are two choices. Either you become so big, you keep growing, you keep acqui acquiring, or maybe at a right time, when you get a right valuation for your efforts, you exit, put forward into the different business, which may be yielding more, uh, more returns, which may be giving you much better profit. Take example, I mean, this this uh, uh, hospital um, initially, which one? Apollo. No, the two brothers they sold their, which is now known as uh, uh, the Renbexi, Renbexi okay. business. That was one of the leading, being taken over by Japanese one. So it was the right time for them. So no, why see, some entrepreneurs they they are so rigid to their business they don't want to sell even till the end till, till the death they don't want to sell their baby. I I saw that type of entrepreneur also. So if I'm I not saying I'm going to see I had been into business for 16 years. I'm not saying I'm going to do it today. My passion is I want to make a billion dollar company. That point of time with one and a half lakh people minimum on the board. Who are working for us and once that level is achieved and if someone which is coming with 10 lakhs of people and they want to enter into India and they want to give me a right valuation for my business to grow, which I cannot grow to 10. I mean 1 billion, 1 million people. So there could be a possibility or who knows tomorrow I don't want. But what about my kid? I don't know. I mean, he, 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 he'll be taking over for me what his passion may be into different. He may see uh, maybe he's getting two billion dollar valuation and then he sell it off and then he has created already an empire which is into a different line, which is more in demand. He may take a decision. So it's situation based saying what is best or what is good, which should be done or not is all subjective. So because now uh, those people who are in the first generation entrepreneur, those people who created the uh, firm, they have a connection, deep connection with their uh, industry. They think that this is my this is my baby. My question is, okay, you are saying this is your baby, but then why do you want to sell it to others? If you're getting a good valuation, but you cannot sell your son, no? I'm giving this much amount, can you please? Uh, so let me, let me give you one example. After 18 years, even the son does not remain your son or baby, which was at the age of five. At the age of 18, he's more for his girlfriend. Yeah. At 25, he's more for his wife. And mm. at age 35, he's back to the mother. Mm. So one has to understand this life cycle pretty well. If you only have the heart and mind and soul, only it's my baby then you will be in pain. Today you are young, you are energetic, you had been putting best of the efforts. Tomorrow you will be old. That point of time, will you have that kind of vigor, power, mind, thirst, driving skills that you still say, it's my baby, I'll keep making it grow. 
someone who is coming more energetic he is saying no i will make your baby grow further you were the founders your name will remain your statue will remain there but i will grow i will make it more mature baby than what you gave to me and i will make this baby to grow just like a bhargat ka ped which is giving you know uh, uh air and chaya to lot of people who are sitting under that rush so that is what you created a tree which was giving chaya only or say protecting from heat uh, to maybe 100 people but if someone else better than you is coming and giving you right value for your tree and that tree is now going to become kind of a uh, you remember parijat vrash which is which is a uh, big and huge one like a bhargat ka ped which is giving you know uh, chaya to complete village if that particular person comes and he has the capability or she has the capability with resources with mind with man power with money better decision so, is to exit so before going to sell so you will think all this as your parameter if the person is suitable if if i am getting a uh, if, if i am getting a reliable return to me then only you are going to sell of course okay the people who had been working for you for ages you have to ensure they had been loyal to you Okay. they had been loyal to your organization you have to understand from their point of view their family also whatever you they have done for you was enormous you have to appreciate that you have to ensure that they do not get fall apart so now we are moving to last session that is a mental well being so why i am talking this question the suicide rates of entrepreneurs is goes on increasing by years in especially in us and uk even in india also so some scholars in the us they started to saying that uh, those entrepreneur who, who practice yoga and meditation this might help them to control their minds uh, mental well being so what is your thought on this thing absolutely right yoga definitely helps exercises definitely help walking exercise walking exercise different yoga dhyana they definitely help for the mental well being so entrepreneurship is the high you are saying that this, yeah this will really helps people they question me they cross question me okay now you are saying that uh, this yoga it came around even yoga was there till 15th century but it came to this much of popularity after 1990 i think or uh, after 2000 what about the great legendary in the business field are uh, like uh, tata ambani uh, and uh, godrej these people they build the business empires did they practice the yoga did they practice the meditation on that time so these are all bullshit i don't like see these people when they do not know the past situation coming onto the podium and talking the glorified picture is very different the person who created the empire yesterday i i had a chance to go to my son's uh, say engineering college which is bisplani i happen to see the statue of uh, gd uh, uh, the founder the founding member uh, gd bela today he is successful maybe his brothers were not that successful the god who was there when i spoke to him when i went to the saraswati mata mandir he said apne bhaiyon mein he was the only person who, who had the brain other person did not have the brain i mean that was a petty uh, you know uh, nonsense statement but at the same time because he had a, a luck he had vision he succeeded and today what we see is a different story altogether but yoga was also there that yoga does not mean that you become dhyana ki mudra mein just like this forget everything i am spiritual i will not do this i will not do this what is more important is yoga dhyana spirituality making you protect yourself from the evil if there is a positive energy there is a negative energy don't gas for the negative energy yoga is giving making your body chakras to align making it protected from the different negative energies which are prevailing in the world be it in the form of the maybe less less of the oxygen toxics uh, available in the air atmosphere beat anything else now 
who says they did not practice they were living into that atmosphere when there were competition was not cut throat when the people were not aspiring to become entrepreneur they hardly you see tata birlas modi is that point of time where were reliances where were uh, adanis where were n number of other entrepreneur today it's a different industry earlier it was a era of manufacturing now it's a era of automation ai if you don't keep flowing into this those people they became successful at that point of stage because there was no other businesses it was only the uh, farmers and other things so someone who created something which is that point of time which was very different they but one good thing you will always find them taste you will always find them uh, aligning themselves to the uh, say planetary positions they have people who are guiding them to become spiritual they do havnas they do karmas they do godan they do a number of other things being a spiritual person because i have a lot of inclination towards spirituality i have a lot of uh, i mean today i am in a different state of situation despite being a tech technology person i am more as a spiritual person i believe life is like that life is that is the real life karma plays an important part thinking that with your karmas with your behavior others are not getting hurt you are not creating any negative or you are not adding any negative karmas again with the regular karmas because of which you took the rebirth it should not be carry forward if you did something negate it immediately and that is what is yoga practice that feeling of fear that um feeling of inculcating that feeling in yourself that something which is beyond us beyond our control and everything is being washed by that supreme power is also dhyana is also part of the meditation praying for it to negate it that i don't want to do any negative karmas from my inner side if something happen from me please forgive me that is what is the but today people they understand quote unquote what they understand is when you become like this how can you be a successful business person that is nonsense does not mean if i am a businessman i have to do sin only i can do my business with this fearing of the god fearing of some supreme power making my employees my subordinates my client happy not cheating with them ensuring whatever act i am doing does not give any negative impact on others someone will ask me a question if you are taking the business of someone else that you are creating a negative for yourself then why are you in business go to the himalayas and do the meditation that is my karmas because i am born for it i am not just born for coming onto this earth just to keep going to kedarnath ji sit in the gopha and do the chant that is i am not doing any karmas i am karmless karma i have to do but i have to ensure while performing my karmas which are my duties for my family for my society for my employees for their families i have to perform and during that point of time if anything which is negative being done please forgive me for this and there the spirituality the dhyana the karmas and yogas that come in picture which gives my mind a balanced uh, keep my mind balanced so what people said that see i don't do yoga i don't do meditation but i feel happy i used to every day i used to run for a 5 km every day i used to swim i will feel so happy that's the same thing some, ah i will it's the same thing again don't go by the literal meaning of yoga that you have to sit in the dhyana or mudra no doing something which is making your okay so technical terminology concentrating yourself into something or negating your negative energies or inhaling the positive energies when you run you get lot of oxygen your blood level becomes better your thought uh, blood flows to the mind mind start flowing uh, thinking much better start using uh, you know firing the neurons much better way when you swim the similar sort of situation happen when you do the yoga also you meditate you control on your breath you control your blood pressure you control the negative emotions you think 
I am into a peaceful state of mind and any decision which is taken into peaceful mind state is always not just from here. That is from here as well. So my last question. Yeah, yoga meditation will help to the people. There are across the world millions, trillions of people are practicing yoga. OK, my my uh, question is, for example, those people who have the exact perfect knowledge on spirituality and yoga, they only get the benefit of this yoga because yoga is always connected with spirituality. We cannot practice yoga without the knowledge of spirituality. So do you think that the level of spirituality is most important for mental well, mental health? Because best example, if if I am I, I adopted the Krishna's conscious life, so I'm following the Lord Krishna's philosophy in my life. I am not I'm, I I don't like to attach myself to all this materialistic. Even though I am doing this thing business, I'm earning a crore stuff amount, but I'm not saying that this is mine. This is not mine. There is one person who is controlling this. I'm just doing my work here. So the benefit is given by God. If I have this type of mindset, if I'm losing something, I don't blame myself. I say, okay, this is the intention of the God. Anyway, he is the taker. He will take care. Why should I bother? So this Actually, type that's of a fact. Ah, if I know, because I am reading Mahabharata, I this thing. I I know this thing. Whenever I feel disappoint, failure, I don't mind because I, how can I expect hundred percent always success? But most of the entrepreneur, what they will do, but the best example, the recent one that a coffee day owner, he also commits suicide because of a death issue. There are so many lists in the Kerala, Karnataka. The, the rate is very high compared to not people. So my, I'm thinking if they have at least a little bit knowledge of in uh, the philosophy of Lord Krishna in the Mahabharata, they might have a very good mental health. Do you think this is correct or not? Perfection does not come in a single day's time. There is always a starting point. There had been four yugas, Satyug, Dwapa, Treta, Kalyuga. There were epics, there were ganthas, there were different, different, you know, uh, Purans. Not everything was created in a single day's time. Each yug has a different story line, had a different level of uh, gunas, span of the life. And at the end of the day, spirituality level was different. It is always better to start practicing. Not everyone is destined. For example, since you come from this background, so let me let me give you from astro perspective as well. And that is all linked. I mean, astrology, let's not discount like it's not linked with the spirituality. So if I align myself to seven and eight numbers, close to seven and eight, by doing everything aligned to these numbers, I become more spiritual. My thought process are aligned towards spirituality. Problems are bound to come. Suffering are bound to come. Even Rama, who was the real avatar of Lord Vishnu, when he took birth on earth, he had sufferings for 13 years to leave his father and his father died behind him. He had to leave Sita. Sita uh, he had to say this word. So those are those are those are the stories. If you have Krishna in the Dwapar Yuga, he had to leave his mother at the birth time itself. Then he had to leave Radha when he became the king emperor. He had to leave Mathura. Uh, he had to leave his Nandgram, which he was fond of. He had to leave cows. So those things they were destined. Something you start, but certain things which are destined, you learn over time. You give example of traffic of a day. The negative or malefic conjunction of the planetary position at that point of time made him so much 
you know, disturbed that he had no option but to commit a suicide, despite he was running a 7000 crore empire. When it was being taken over by his wife, she made a successful business without uh, reducing the amount of uh, the loans, the liabilities, and then made it profitable. That was written history. Saying if he would knew that everything is destined and he would not have taken or committed the suicide, then we go uh, against a theory which is number of breads are defined by Almighty based on the karmas of the previous birth. We have to remember. If you remember, if I give you one example. When Bhishma Pitame at his last time was lying on, you know, Sanya of Bar. So Krishna went to meet him. He knew he was God. He asked him a question. Prabhu, I had been doing good for whole my life. I never did any bad. Because of my father, I never never married. I had been giving, you know, uh, I had been with the good only. I never did any negative thing in my life. Then at the time when my time has come, why are you giving me this pain? And that point of time, God used to be, you know, never had earplugs. Now I think with like the new generation, they have the earplugs all plugged in into their ears. Uh, so similarly is God. He does not want to take his earplugs because everyone is asking Bhagavan Mujhe Ye De Do, Bhagavan Mujhe Ye De Do. So that point of time, what Krishna said, what you are seeing at this point of time is not the truth. Just go back, flashback, 30 years of, uh, no, 30, uh, 30 births. You were the emperor. You were going somewhere on your horse along with your uh, troops. While you were trying to cross the jungle, there was a snake which was crossing the road. You saw it. You asked your Senapati to take out this snake from the road and put somewhere so that it is not being crushed by the horse's legs. Senapati did it. He took with the bhala and put it nearby to the bushes. Though he did a good job, but what happened is when the snake got stuck into the bushes, he could not come out of it. He uh, got him itself into struggled into uh, uh, strangulated into the bushes and blood start coming from different parts of the body, just like body of Bhishma Pitame with the help of the uh, this arrows. The same situation. So he gave the example. Despite you did good, but you added one karmas because that snake got killed because of your instructions. So that residual sum balance keep flowing. If we understand this part in life, what we are doing at this point of time is not going to just give me the impact maybe today. Today, my positive impact, the residual sum balance of my positive impact of the previous birth or the this birth may has helped me keep flowing. But who knows if my life is more and that negative sum balance, if this positive balance is zero and that negative sum balance will start giving me the negative results. That is all karmas. That person, the cafe coffee day was his life, his number of breaths were over. The negative story or the negative uh, say mark was written for him. So he had committed this. So. I mean, I'll not say it's bad or good. No, the, or even if he would know this apex, he would not have done it. It was time. It was destiny. It came. So spirituality is hundred percent subjectivism. So people they are asked that uh, who we don't we don't have any scientific evidence to uh, re, uh, uh, rely on all this thing. But what uh, I don't know how to justify for the U.S. scholars because they want always scientific justification. For okay, so I'm stopping you here, just giving you whatever we could prove in a chemistry lab by making two mixing two salts, and we saw the outcome. We said it's scientific, but bloody hell, what we did not know, which other salt we could have compounded and made a new salt, is that does that mean that does not exist? 
whatever we could see and we could prove become science. But what we could not prove is our failure because we do not know that part. Life before 100 years when this modern medical science was not there, the lifespan of a human in Satyug was considered as one lakh years. In Treta Yug was considered 10,000 years. Dwapar Yug is, was considered as 1,000 years. And today it's only 120 years. Modern medical science is less than 100 years. That point of time, there were wars, there were different perlias, everything was there. Still the people were living. How? Because today you can say, today you have Medanta, you have Medanta, so many new hospitals, you have surgery, microsurgery, you do not, you have cardiac arrest, you know there's cardiac arrest. Earlier, there used to be who? Ayurveda Charre, there used to be astrologers who used to tell this is the time frame. Combination of these herbs, mix it, problem will get solved. What we cannot prove does not mean that does not exist. Do science has a justification why nose is here? Why not at my tummy? Is there a scientific reason why it is there? Has any science or Darwin theory or anything has proved proven it? Why this nose should be here only? Why I should have two ears? Why should not? I, why should I have two nose nostrils? Why? What we proved, what we could make it convenient to, as per our choice, we said it's scientific. But he held with it. This people say um, India. People talk about uh, what do you say? Bhut, Pret, Yakshigan. The, why the hell are you celebrating that? Uh, what is that day called? Uh, when they wear the different uh, fancy mask, like uh, they dress themselves as a uh, ghost. There is a day of celebration in US. Western part, what what we say? Um, which day? I don't have any idea on this thing. Uh, uh, but I will uh, so, but my only question is, how can I justify to that professor? He is saying that, okay, Raghunath, you are going to bring this uh, variable spirituality and entrepreneur. How do you justify this? Is to 100% subjectivism is there? I told them that, sir, okay, we, I don't want to say this is a scriptures. What I'm saying, this is our ancestors experience written in the book. We are, are not... you, are you made to become a saint to convince no, no, everyone? No. No, no. So listen, are you Gautam Buddha? No, you are not the ninth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. You are human. You are made for something else. Why are you trying to waste your time in convincing the other person? Is mental spirituality is a state of the mind. Spirituality is a faith in something which is beyond your control. Till that time, the things are done. What you, how it was supposed to be as per your mental level, you said, I did it. When the things they do not fall in place, despite putting best of the efforts, that point of time, where is your effort? How did you, how, why, why you could not control it? Human, despite, give me one minute more. Despite during Corona times, the people who were in the best of the hospitals, still they went away. Why? Where was that science? The people who were lying on the roadside in Jhopar Pattis, they did not, they even did not have anything, despite they may have got, you know, the second level or third level. The people who were more afraid of uh, oxygen level getting down and this and that, who had the best of the hospitals, they were the only one who were dying. People on the roadside, 90, 99% of the population is lying in the roadside on, in India. Anything did you hear? They die? No. The maximum people who died, they were on the ventilator. And who could afford it or who could get an opportunity to get a uh, say medical facility at that point of time? So there's something beyond this. So those are the things. Even if the person doesn't want to listen and hear this part, but if that is his destiny to leave it. Why I'm saying this, sir, because in academic, scholars are discussed well, in, in a room, the scholars are discussing some concept. Now they bring the yoga and meditation to the entrepreneurial theory. I am going to take the spirituality to, to that room. The whole room asking me to, how do you justify that this spirituality will impact on mental well-being? So these are the examples. See, they are different types of the people. Their way of thinking, their way of uh, arrogance, their way of discussion, their way of understanding level may be different. Someone just with this much of push, 
immediately get aligned to the spirituality. They start differentiating between good and bad karmas. Someone only has that feeling of man. That is again ahem. This whatever we say ahem. It is very difficult because the time frame, specifically the young generation, whom we have taught only one plus one is equal to two, telling them and they ask, they are the person who asks maximum justification. Why should I believe this? Why should I believe in the God? Why should I be spiritual? If there is a success story, get it. I did it. What the hell you did it? What was in your control? You were not even born with your own desire. You were being made by your parents. You got, you took a play, uh, you took the birth because you, your parents wanted your birth. Was that in your control? When you understand this dynamics of the life, and when you give these examples, because today's people, they like two things, storytelling and relating with the Adhyatma, only then they will understand. If you only talk about science, otherwise they will only argue with science. Taking them to the real life situation and then making them align to the spirituality. For example, if they become ill, maybe giving them positive energy, which is maybe Reiki therapy and doing this in front of them. They start thinking, uh, oh, I did not take a combi flame or I did not take a dolo. Still, I got fine, something magic. That let it let be, let it be a magic for them. Let them understand this magic is nothing but a spirituality. Let them understand starting from magic. And once they start growing and they started becoming big, when the life situations they come, they start facing it, when they will have their own kids, and when they get into that real life situations of earning bread and butter, they will start doing and understanding. There is a big component of spirituality. There is a big component of this, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, this fear of God, this fear, uh, this factor of God. Then they understand the real meaning of the life. They understand what is the meaning of their existence on this earth. So finally, you are following in a spiritualistic way, spiritual way. So entrepreneur, the spirituality together, you are doing your, uh, you are living your life. That's and the, the, level of, life. the level of spirituality making you too calm whenever you are facing business failure. Of course, yes. of course okay. I did. Okay, so okay. If today, today I'm not in my office. I'm sitting in my home office and in front of me is my mother. OK, your mother. Mother. Oh. Mother has been sitting right to left to me. OK. Mandir is there. Can I yeah, see? Uh, OK. Uh, you want to see yeah. that mandir? Give me a minute. You are the only one responding that you're sharing this much of information about spirituality because I want to bring this concept to US people. Hmm. So somewhere you get it. OK, so I think you know me only as a uh, entrepreneur, but you have not seen